Okay. Here. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Another new vlog. I just finished polishing up my tires and my wheels. Funny story. I just finished wiping down and polishing my steer tire on my passenger side, like right down there, right? And that guy backed in like right beside me while I was working on it there. And uh, I was like, okay, well, there's all these spots everywhere, right? You could have parked anywhere else, but you decided to park right beside me while I'm polishing my truck. Okay, whatever, free country, you can park where you want. So I finished polishing up my steer tire and I go back to start polishing my tank, just as that. And then I hear this splash. And I turn around quickly and the guy had just emptied a cup full of urine out his driver's side window onto the ground right beside my steer tire that I just finished wiping down and polishing. Went all over my tire. That's how my day started. Who does that? Who does that? Right? That guy does that. Unbelievable. I was at a loss for words. So that's, uh, that's behind us. Let's go get our freight. We're gonna pick up freight here in Winnipeg and deliver it into Langbank, Saskatchewan first thing tomorrow morning. We gotta get going, we don't wanna be late. Ready to go. Yeah, when I turned around, I went and confronted the guy. I was like, dude, what are you doing? He looked at me and he, his honest, to God, his words were, his exact words were, oh, I didn't see you there. Not even, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Just, oh, I didn't see you there. No apology, no nothing. And so that got me a little miffed. And uh, on top of that, I started thinking about it. He backed in while I was polishing that tire right beside him there. If he honestly didn't see me there while he was backing in right beside me, we got bigger problems. Wow. Keep your head on a swivel out here, guys, especially in these truck stops up here in Canada. You, uh, you never know. There's a lot of guys out here that shouldn't be. And I don't mean that as like a bad thing to make us look bad, but at the same time, they're making us look bad. Can't, can't, couldn't believe him. What do you mean? Wait, what? And then he closed his window, didn't come back out. Then he got back out later, looked at me, and just walked away. Like, no apology, no nothing. Like, you didn't see me when you were backing in beside me? And then you emptied. Oh. Let's leave it at that, okay? I can't keep thinking about it. I'm just going to get upset. Let's go get our freight. Let's put it on our trailer. Portage Avenue, Highway 1. Let's just hit the road. Because that is always guaranteed to put me in a better mood. Once I'm loaded, tied down, and out on the open highway, everything's going to be okay. Don't be that guy throwing your, your urine out your window onto other people's trucks. Alright, get out of your truck and go dump it on the grass behind your trailer like normal people do. So on the west side of Winnipeg now, getting to the perimeter highway, that's the ring highway that goes around the whole city if you're not from here. I'm gonna head north up the west side of the city and go up Canada way into the industrial zone where our 40,000 pounds of palletized parts is waiting for us. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it means it's parts that are on pallets. What kind of parts? I don't know. I don't know. Probably metal parts. Maybe plastic. Maybe wooden parts. I'm prepared for all scenarios. You give me whatever freight you want, I'll tie it down, I'll get it to where it's supposed to be. That's what I do. Probably gonna be driving into the night a little bit. It's not that far that I have to go. I think it's only about four hours to Langbank from here. It is a shorty, a short trip. Once I get loaded, let's say I, my appointment's at four, let's say I'm out of there by 5.30. Entrance to the right on, hour and a half. Right center port and then keep to the right in 1.2 kilometers. Oh yeah, center port Canada way, that's where we're going. But like, let's say we get out of there at 5.30, even six o'clock, let's be very generous and give ourselves two hours to tie down all these parts on pallets. 6 o'clock, 7, 8, 9, 10, that means I'll be getting there at 10 o'clock central time. Right on, Highway 190 Center Port, and then keep to the right at 1.2 kilometers. 
and they're in mountain time right now, so I'll be gaining an hour, which means we'll be getting there around nine o'clock. Give ourselves an extra hour just for whatever happens. We should be there between nine and 10 o'clock today. Tonight. One kilometer, keep to the right on Highway 198. I'm doing that. You don't have to tell me every three minutes. Okay, maybe you do, maybe you do, you know. I get annoyed at my GPS, I call her Karen, because she's always trying to tell me what to do. She thinks she knows everything. Always ask and talk to the manager. And sometimes I get annoyed with her voice, right? And so I turn her volume down. Well, then I forget to turn her volume back up. to the right on Highway 198. And then I'm cruising down the highway in a region maybe that I'm not familiar with, like not around here, but. And then, uh, you know, she's telling me, turn, 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 and I'm off. And, you know, my music is rocking out. Miss my turn. So I just leave her volume on and let her chat. But I'll, I'll just talk over her. I don't care. I'm the boss. She doesn't think so, but. It's a constant power struggle in here between her and me. She thinks she's the brain of the operation. Always yelling at me. Very bossy. Looks like I was a little too quick on the wiping. I'll wipe down a little bit better. A little bit better. It was this other wheel on this side. This one's probably clean. I know the front's all covered in bugs still. I just did the, I'm, I'm focusing on keeping the aluminum clean and polished and doing the rest when I wash the truck. This is what I paid a lot of money to have polished all down here. I want to keep that shining. So uh, up front here, this will get cleaned as soon as I get a chance. But yeah, this this tire's nice clean. I had to wash this one twice. Dude, it looks better anyway, right? So, all right, we're here and uh, waiting for them to bring out my freight so that I can get loaded and get on down the road. I think they've started. They put one pallet on my trailer already, but I had to ask them to take it back and rewrap it. It's got a bunch of parts on it, steel parts, and uh, they were still loose on the pallet. And there's probably like two dozen of them on there. And I was I'm like, well, how, how is this supposed to stay on the trailer? We need to make this little bandit a little tighter, so <laughs> I don't want it falling off into traffic, man. So they took it back in there. They're gonna reband it and uh, rework it, rewrap it. We're a nice guy, he's nice about it. Uh, in the end, it's my load. Once that gets onto my trailer, it's not their load anymore. It's my load. So I have to make sure that when it gets put onto my trailer that I am satisfied with how it's loaded and with the safety of it. Because if one of those little pieces falls off into traffic, goes through someone's windshield, kills somebody, that's on me. Because that was my load, my responsibility. Just keep an eye on things when they're putting stuff on your deck behind you. It's uh, very important. Hopefully we'll get done here soon. Um, I've been here for half an hour now and they told me it would probably be, like I said earlier, uh, two plus hours. Uh, there may be some detention time added onto this. Not too sure yet. Depends on how quickly we can get out of here, right? But. Usually, uh, if we have a confirmed appointment that they ask us to be there for a certain time, I believe usually it's about two hours of grace, and anything past that, there's an extra fee, uh, which goes to me for my time, because my e-log here, my logbook is clicking away, right? And time is money. Every minute that clicks over on there is one minute that I'm not earning money, I'm not making money, that I'm not able to put food on the table for my family. So, that's the way you go. They, it'll be okay. I'm just bored. I want to be trucking. And that's the whole thing. This is it from the other side? So, I crossed over the straps here so that each one of these skids has its own holding it down. Very light. And it's gonna slip through the air. Like, look at this, it's, what, six inches off my deck? I got them to double wrap everything, so everything is good and tight in there. It is uh, 6.40, so it's been two hours and 40 minutes. And I 
I've got my paperwork now. It's time to roll out. Looks like we got some rain rolling in, so we're getting out of here just in time. Can you imagine? 
I hope everybody's okay back there, but I'm, I'm continuing on. As soon as I got that tornado warning, and I looked up and I saw that the sky was clear, I got right back on the road and I, I'm booking it away from that storm. I don't know which direction it's going. No, I don't, this case comes back towards me, you know? I'm getting out of here. That's the Petra Pass that we parked at the other night. And this is the co-op we parked at yesterday when we went for our walk. We parked right over there. Now I'm parked here. This has been a uh, popular place for us this week in Whitewood, Saskatchewan. Whitewood, Saskatchewan. That is this week's theme. I've never spent so much time in this town before. We even walked through it. <laughs> that was yesterday, wasn't it? It seems like that was so long ago already. These days, like I get so so much done in a day. I wake up early in the morning, and I usually go to bed late at night. So the days are long out here on the road for me, but they go by really quickly. But at the same time, it feels like they take a long time. Like we were here yesterday, walking through town, and it feels like that was like almost last week. But... Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. We went through that thunderstorm, narrowly missed a tornado, apparently. But I'm alive, and there's another thunderstorm coming. By the looks of it, there's some lightning but it might be missing us because there's some lightning uh, to my north as I was approaching Whitewood here. And now there's no rain and it's calmed down quite a bit. It was getting a little windy there for a second. I was wondering if I was going to get another tornado alert or not. But... Well, hopefully see you right here in the morning. Hopefully I don't fly away in a tornado or something. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and find out if I'm still here tomorrow. <laughs> don't get too worried if I don't post though. Sometimes I miss a day. Uh, go to my Facebook, Instagram. Uh, all those links are down below in the description of every one of my videos, all of my official social media accounts. If you're wondering, if someone's, tr like, people try to impersonate me online sometimes for some reason. I don't know why me. I'm not that important. I don't know why anyone would want to try to impersonate me. But they try to scam you and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. They uh, they try to get you to go to Telegram. I don't have a Telegram. I haven't seen those scammers in a while, actually. So maybe YouTube finally actually took care of them. They were an issue for a while. But uh, if you want to know if it's actually me... Uh, go down to the description underneath all of my videos. If you're on a mobile device, like turn your phone vertical and click on the title. It'll be a whole drop down box and you can say, like there's a little link there, you can say more or see more or something like that. And then there's a whole bunch of links down there for you to go through and there's, just keep scrolling down, my social media will be there. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, X, all those main social media platforms. And I post some short form content there as well. I also have a TikTok. Uh, not sure how many of some people like it, some people don't, but I have one. Let's see what happens. This old guy. I feel old when I use it, but I got I'm I'm on the TikTok. I'm on the TikTok. So if you have the TikTok, you can find me there. It's TJV TikTok. Again, it's down below in the description of every video. I, I lately I've been posting uh, short form uh, vlogs of these same days, but you sort of get it almost a week early. You sort of get a preview of what this vlog's gonna be. I also post it to Instagram though, so if you want to use an American company, because America, well, you can find me on Instagram then as well. well. They're all spying on you. It doesn't matter which one it is. They're, they're all spying on us, so. Let's all be spied on together and hang out here again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Drive safe out there.